please subscribe to Alpha Motorcyclist and hit the bell icon to get the latest videos notifications. So guys, I think uh, most of you must have given a thought on various uh, engine cooling systems like what is this air cooling system and uh, what is so special about oil cooling and why everyone calls liquid system the mighty one. So I think this is the day where we should unpuzzle this mystery. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. So we can broadly divide the engine cooling systems as air, oil and liquid cooling systems. Well, the selection of a cooling system depends majorly upon the type of bike and its engine maker. As in the higher the engine compression ratio and uh, higher the engine revving limit or you can say the higher revving engines, a liquid system uh, is preferred as compared to the oil and the air cooling system. At the first step under the air cooling system we have bikes like FZ16, FZFI, Honda Hornet, Jixxer and SF150 etc and other smaller capacity bikes. When we step up the ladder we come to the oil cooling system which have bikes like Bajaj Avenger, FZ25 which is uh, newly launched and Pulsar 220 etc and other medium capacity bikes and mostly the cruiser bikes. At the top of the ladder, uh, we have the mighty liquid cooling system which have the bikes like uh, all KDMs, Ducati BMWs and other higher capacity, compression ratio and higher engine driving bikes. Uh, now for air cooling system, it uses passing air as the prime factor for engine cooling. The engine have fins on their surface to increase the surface area of the engine so that the more surface is in the contact with air and henceforth with there will be more heat dissipation. Smaller capacities and uh, low revving engine bikes employs this kind of cooling system. This is the least expensive system out of oil and the liquid cooling system. Now the oil cooling system here the coolant oil or sometimes the engine oil itself act as a mediator for cooling. These engines are like air cooled ones and have fins on the surface of the engine but in addition narrow passages running throughout the engine that is the oil circulating vents or veins through the engines uh, this, this is the system uh, it is having and it absorbs the heat and expels the same outside via radiator. They generally incorporate in, in cruising bikes and in mid capacity bikes. The liquid cooling system, the most efficient method of cooling. It uses coolant agent fluid which circulates through the engine and absorbs heat and expels the same outside via radiator. These engines doesn't have any fins but have wider passage for coolant flow. As I've told you earlier, all KTM bikes, RS200, Kawasaki etc. The high capacities and high revving engines bikes employ this kind of cooling system. So guys, by now. We have known a little bit about the liquid cooling system, the oil and the air one. So now this is the right time to know about a little bit of the downsides or the drawbacks for the same. Now starting with the air cooling system, uh, this can't be employed for high revving or high compression ratio engines as air alone is not sufficient to cool the engine which affects obviously the performance and the engine's shell life over the time. Now the second thing about the uh, oil cooler, it has a dual system of air plus oil cooling but again due to the same insufficient heating dissipation for high compression ratio engines, it's again not effective for high end performance bikes. For liquid cooling system, don't be under the impression that it is the best though at the top it requires a preset working temperature. If the coolant temperature increases beyond a preset point 
bike seizes and might also be detrimental for engine as the heat can damage the internal component of the engine itself so to offset this effect almost all high end performance bikes running on this system are designed to stall if temperature rises to a high temperature and starts only when the coolant temperature comes to an appropriate level so now guys time has come to end the vlog i hope you found the video informative and useful if you find it so then please like and share it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the all the latest notifications so in the end i would just like to say ride hard and ride safe